All right, YouTube. I don't know what this video is going to be about. Probably me just running at the mouth here. But I had to take this engine off because the pull start screwed up. And you couldn't get the cover off without taking the engine off. Plus, it was all dirty in here. So I just wanted to talk about a couple little things. First off, it was so dirty, I took the gas tank off. When I did, I found a little hole almost through. And it came from this bolt right here, sticking up like that one. And the phone is not focusing. But, so if you have one of these SLTs, take this bolt off underneath the gas tank it's the second one back just take it off and snip it off about three sixteenths maybe even a quarter file it down and screw it back in there i snipped mine off put it in and then took a file and filed it off but um i've had a few little problems with this uh it was shutting off on me while i was running and I kept thinking it was the carburetor and come to find out it was the GT3B transmitter that came with this car. It just keeps shutting it off. So I hooked up the, my spare SB3, I forget where it's at right here, and it works now. So. That other transmitter just went, I haven't even drove this car five times, so the other transmitter went out. Plus, go ahead and buy you a couple of these rubbers that go around here. They go around this pipe, because I haven't even drove this car like five times, and uh, that rubber, when I took the engine off, was completely disintegrated. So get you a couple of them before they're not available anymore. I just ordered two. So um, that's that. And um, I put a WT1257 carburetor on here. Seems to run a, a little better. Got a little bit more power. Not only that, that plastic piece that was up here, I cut that off right there at the edge. Let's see if I can get it out. I don't know. Let me hurry up and get that down. Excuse me for a minute. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. This plastic piece. I figured if if you didn't have this on the engine, it would uh, release a little bit more heat. So when I took it off, there's a hole right here, and you can see the magneto, and I didn't want dirt and stuff to get down in there. So I cut it off and left the long piece there, and the long piece here. So just past, as you can see it right there, just about even with that bolt hole. That's where you wanna cut it. That way it leaves enough and you can still put those two screws back in it and hold that. Keeps the dirt and shit going in there. But it lets the cylinder you know cylinder slash head uh breathe a little more yeah you don't have the protection of the spark plug but uh that's no big deal for me this car it doesn't tip over i, I haven't had it tip over yet it's got extended uh black sole 
Baja hubs right here so I can you run Baja tires and this servo went out and I replaced it with a spare I had it locked a, it was locking the front wheels and I bought these turnbuckles to get rid of the play and everything with the plastic ones but this one right here on both sides it's like that bolt is too small for the that's the only one that's got play and I wish I had a brass spacer to go in there to take up some of that space because this bolt must be too small I mean I could tap all that out but I don't really put a bigger bolt in there but I just don't really feel like doing that so I'm just going to leave that for now um, I want to put a locker in this center diff. I haven't done that yet. And I want to get two aluminum case covers, diff covers, cases, diff cases. But, uh, at 200 bucks each, I, I don't really feel like paying that. And it's got hostile hubs in the rear, a roving in the front. I have some uh, blue hinge pin braces right here for the front and back. I just, I'm waiting until I, I might take out that diff and put a aluminum diff in there. But right now I'm getting ready to put it back together. I fixed it pull start so I just wanted to do this small video and uh, we'll we'll maybe do another one after I get it back together and run it and I would love to run this car and show you how it goes but it's hard to run it uh, with my wife she can't follow the car so you know it's hard for me to uh, video it and run the car. So, later.